We are at the iPhone moment of AI. With these words, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang started the GTC event a few weeks ago. At this event, NVIDIA unveiled significant AI breakthroughs, perfectly timed as generative AI tools such as ChatGPT and MidJourney are taking over the world by storm and continue to disrupt entire industries like never before. However, NVIDIA's AI breakthrough may be even more significant for the industry, which hasn't got much attention, even though it has the potential to impact almost every aspect of our modern reliance. NVIDIA's new AI breakthrough is the one that will power the next generation of highly advanced artificial intelligence. We are talking about AI building AI. So what is NVIDIA's breakthrough all about? Let's dive straight into it and learn how this will impact the industry and, eventually, all of our lives. A few weeks ago, NVIDIA hosted its highly anticipated GTC conference, where they talked about groundbreaking advancements in AI, like ChatGPT, including the hardware behind it and its computational infrastructure. Among the highlights were NVIDIA's A100 GPUs, which are specifically designed for machine learning and deep learning applications. Additionally, NVIDIA showcased their latest H100 chips, currently being shipped to some of the world's largest companies building the AI systems of tomorrow. These H100 chips exhibit extraordinary capabilities, boasting a remarkable nine-fold increase in AI training speeds, such as Tesla's full self-driving computers that rely on labeled data for improved self-driving. But with the H100, Training speeds surge an astonishing 30 times faster for large inference models like GPT-4, which powers ChatGPT and the diffusion models supporting DAL-E and MidJourney. Such accelerated performance is truly transformative, and we haven't gotten to the breakthrough yet. However, the real breakthrough lies in the ability to interconnect these GPUs to create even more powerful systems on virtually any scale. For instance, combining eight H100 chips forms a DGX H100 server system. Taking it a step further, nine of these DGX H100 server systems can be linked to establish a DGX pod. But the possibilities do not end here. The DGX pods can be further connected, with 32 of them uniting to create a super pod, also called AI Factory and undoubtedly one of the world's most powerful computing systems. Considering the exponential growth of ChatGPT, which has reached 100 million users in just two months, and the numerous businesses built upon it, there is also a growing demand for those high-performing AI factories by the day. And to propel the field of AI towards more complex and efficient models, cloud computing platforms like Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services will require substantial quantities of H100 service systems in the coming years. But as you can imagine, this raises certain challenges for the industry, which we have already experienced with the chip shortages of the pandemic. Chip design and manufacturing face fundamental limitations in their ability to etch precise patterns onto silicon wafers. Even before this step, there exists a constraint on how quickly the correct patterns can be calculated. And this is where NVIDIA's breakthrough comes into play. The chip manufacturing process includes the process of photolithography, where ASML's EUV lithography systems are used to etch the extremely precise features through a mask a thousand times smaller than bacteria onto the silicon wafer to fit the billions of transistors on a microchip. Only one of these EUV systems costs a whopping $200 million, and one company has a global monopoly on these machines. If you want to learn how these machines work and how they produce microchips, make sure to watch the linked video at the end screen. NVIDIA's AI breakthrough, however, is revolutionizing a previous step called computational lithography. That's a process that involves the use of complex algorithms to predict the patterns on the mask, which is also called reticle, that will result in the desired final patterns on the wafer. Interestingly, the patterns on the reticle do not resemble the final features of the semiconductor at all. Computational lithography utilizes simulations to model the behavior of light passing through optics and interacting with the wafer's photoresists. The computational lithography constitutes the largest workload in chip design and manufacturing. 
consuming billions of CPU hours annually. Enormous data centers run continuously to produce the reticles used in the lithography systems, representing a significant portion of the approximately $200 billion annual capital expenditure invested by chip manufacturers. This is why NVIDIA unveiled the process called Cool Litho, a library for computational lithography developed over the last four years in close cooperation with TSMC, ASML, and Synopsys. Cool Litho accelerates computational lithography by over 40 times. Here is an example to better understand its impact. There are 89 reticles needed to be calculated for NVIDIA's advanced H100 chip. One reticle currently needs two weeks to process operating on CPUs. With the introduction of Cool Litho operating on GPUs, however, the process time for a single reticle can now be accomplished within a single eight-hour shift. The impact of this acceleration is profound. Look at this, before, after. As TSMC can reduce the number of CPU servers employed for computational lithography from 40,000 to just 500 with the DGX H100 systems. Such a reduction in server infrastructure enables a drastic reduction in power consumption from 35 megawatts to a mere five megawatts those are massive savings for both time and money. By implementing Cool Litho, TSMC gains the ability to reduce prototype cycle time, increase throughput, minimize its manufacturing carbon footprint, and effectively prepare for future advancements in chip manufacturing beyond 2 nanometers. So computational lithography is the critical process of how we calculate what each mask needs to look like so that when the EUV light passes through it and the reticle below, it etches the right features onto the wafer. However, the numerous masks and their interdependencies with the current processing time of two weeks based on CPUs create a serious computational bottleneck for advanced chip manufacturing. Even a slight change in the thickness of the silicon would change what the light needs to do to etch the right features onto the surface, which means you need to recalculate the mask and because there are 89 of them for the H100, a change to one mask could mean more changes to other masks, which would really slow down the whole fabrication process. NVIDIA's big breakthrough in computational lithography and the shift to 500 DGX H100 systems is turning the chip design problems running on CPUs into imaging problems that could be parallelized and run on GPUs. The improved throughput enabled by this advancement paves the way for increased chip production, potentially leading to reduced cost, fewer shortages, and improved profit margins for various industries, including hardware manufacturers like Apple and Tesla, which heavily rely on hardware revenue. Moreover, this breakthrough opens up the possibility of designing a diverse range of specialized chips tailored to specific applications. With the capacity to handle significantly more chip designs, companies could create chips optimized for various purposes, such as genome sequencing, protein folding, cryptocurrency mining, or spatial computing as Apple has introduced in their new Vision Pro. This specialization would alleviate resource competition and supply constraints, benefiting both consumers and companies. The impact of this advancement extends beyond NVIDIA, as other industry players like Amazon and Microsoft have also made notable strides. Amazon's development of Graviton processors for AWS servers focuses on energy efficiency, resulting in cost reductions for their cloud services. Similarly, Microsoft's partnership with Ampere to produce Ultra CPUs for Azure positions them to benefit from the computational lithography breakthrough. In conclusion, this breakthrough in AI-driven chip manufacturing sets in motion a virtuous cycle of progress as AI continues to tackle bottlenecks and accelerate the semiconductor industry, advancements will occur at an increasingly rapid pace. Whether one finds this development either exciting or terrifying, it is clear that it will shape the future of technology. Do you find it exciting or perhaps a bit daunting? The implications are far-reaching and have the potential to reshape various industries. And there's more to come. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates and insights on the crazy pace of innovation. And in the meanwhile, don't miss our in-depth analysis of how the world's most complex machine 
produces the most advanced microchips in the world.